Welcome back, sorry for the cliffhanger. My name's Nick, let's make a starting soon screen and a be right back screen. They look like this. Here are our ingredients. We need a GIF, we need some music, and we need some text. So I can do a DuckDuckGo image search for animated GIF. I just typed in lo-fi girl, click that. She's moving, that's what I want. So I'm gonna hit view file, right click it, save image as. Then we need to find some music. I really like to use MixKit because it's all free stuff. Chill. I don't know that I want Latin lovers, but Sleepy Cat is sounding good to me. I'm going to ignore that ad and just save it. Another thing that I did in mine was I put in some sound effects. I just switched over to the sound effects tab, typed in morning, and I got some hits. Kind of like this one, so I'll download that too. And since I'm using the Lo-Fi Girl, I want a font that looks like handwriting. A lot of these would work, so I just click on it, hit this download button, save it, and I'm going to unzip it, extract. Gives me this TTF file and right click it, install for all users. Let's cook up that intro scene. I'm gonna press add, I'm gonna say opening, and now I'm going to add a media source. And this is gonna be our GIF. So I'm gonna say lo-fi girl. Okay, now I want to find this local file. So I've got my GIF, I want it to loop. So I want it to loop. And this just means every time I click on this scene, it's gonna start the GIF from the beginning. And that is okay to me. So now we got Lo-Fi Girl, she's a GIF, she's coming up here. I'm gonna hover my mouse over this corner and drag it out. So next we want some Lo-Fi music because Lo-Fi Girl cannot exist without Lo-Fi beats. So we're going to add another source, add another media source, because it is, music is media. We're going to name it Lo-Fi Beats, 24 hour beats to study and listen to radio all day. That's pretty good. Find that music, our sleepy cat track. I want this to loop as well. Okay, now we can see that Lo-Fi Beats, 24 hour beats to study and listen to radio all day is playing, but it is clipping a bit. So I can take this slider and just move it down. About negative 12 dB is pretty good. And next I want those sound effects of the morning birds. So I will add the source another media source, birds 24 hour bird beats to study and listen to radio 24 seven. That's a pretty good name. I also want the birds to loop and find the file. Okay. And now our birds 24 hour bird beats to study and listen to radio 24 seven is here. It looks to be about the same level, but I still want that to be about negative 12 dB. So I'm going to drag that down till I see that negative 12 dB. And now to test this, I just start recording and I'm going to give this some time. So after I stop recording, I know under file settings output that OBS is putting my videos in my videos folder. So just like before, I can open up that video and I'm hearing beats. I'm hearing birds. It sounds good to me. And now we want to add the text, something that says class starting soon or meeting starting soon or something like that. And to do that, we'll add another source and add some text. We'll say starting soon. Okay, text, I'm gonna say class starting soon, dot, dot, dot. It's also called an ellipsis. Select font, and I've already installed the handwriting font, so I can scroll down to find it, or double click here and just type in handwriting. If you installed yours and you don't see it, it's because you just need to close OBS and open OBS again. Now, it looks huge here, but we can fix that later by hovering over it and resizing it. Now I wanna change the color of this font. So I'll come down here to color, select color, and I can either choose one that I want, but I am colorblind, I don't trust myself. So I'm gonna pick a screen color. It'll give me this, uh, this little crosshair. It's actually an eyedropper, so you can see whatever color I'm hovering over is the color that will appear in this little color box here. I'm gonna grab like a lighter color, maybe this one, click, and then I'm out of that color pick, I hit okay, and now the color is there. Just to make sure I'm getting the right contrast, I'm gonna move it into place. I kinda want it in Bottom right, I'll size it up. It looks pretty good to me. Now you can even adjust the opacity of that text. Maybe have it blend in a little bit more. I also don't wanna move this around later. So in here, there's this little lock icon and I can just click that to lock it. Now if I click that text, I can't move it around, but I start moving around Lo-Fi Girl. So I'm gonna move Lo-Fi Girl back into place, find Lo-Fi Girl and lock her as well. And now if I click and drag, I can't move any visual element in this scene. And just like that, we have our opening scene done. But 
I want my opening scene to be the first thing. And I actually don't need this default scene either, so I'm going to get rid of that. I do wish to remove it. Click on opening and go up, up. And now opening is my first one. And then I will click on main, hello. And then we can go over to screen share. And as for the be right back screen, we just have to repeat the process again. You already know how to do it, so we'll do it fast. I'm just doing a duck, duck, go image search for an animated GIF, find the one I want, view file, right click, save image as, then I'm gonna find some music, something chill. Yo, Island Beat is good. Save. Then we're going to add a scene, hit the plus, call it be right back, hit okay. We don't have any sources, so we need to build up our scene. Add, media source, find that GIF. This is Kiki from Kiki's delivery service. So I found my GIF of Kiki. I want it to loop, and I want it to restart playback whenever I go over to the scene. Now Kiki is super small, so I'm gonna hover over this little, little square, click and drag her until she fills my screen. And you're gonna see it's gonna snap, but it has these kind of black bars. Overshoot it, overshoot it a little more, and just keep doing that until I finally get something where that image is covering the whole screen. Next, I want these low five beats, so I'll add another source, a media source, low five beats too, because this is a new song that I'm putting in. Find the file, my island beats. I want this to loop, hit okay. Great, so I can see that it's playing, but it's probably gonna be loud, so I'm gonna click and drag this down until I see about negative 12. And then, of course, I will start recording leave it on for a bit so I can make sure the GIF is going, I can make sure that the beats are going, stop recording. I know that it is saved in my videos folder, so I'll play that back and make sure I can hear the music. I can hear the music, I can see Kiki, so we're good. And just like that, with two media sources, you've built your own Be Right Back screen. So let's lock Kiki so that we don't accidentally move her again. So if you also wanted a goodbye screen, you just have to do the same thing. You'd find a GIF that you liked, you'd find some music that you liked, you would add those sources, and you'd put in a scene that says goodbye. Now, a bonus tip, if you wanna fade to black after that goodbye, here's how you do it. I'm gonna make a new scene, and I call it fade to black, hit okay. And here's how this is gonna work. Let's say this is our goodbye screen right here, right? Kiki hanging out in the field. And I hit fade to black. Well, right now I have this Luma wipe transition on it, right? Now I do want Luma wipe for all of these scenes. I want this to Luma wipe, but when I get to be right back, when I go to fade to black, I just want a fade to black. So right click on fade to black, transition override to a fade. And now every other scene will be using our general scene transition, right? Our Luma wipe here, but our fade to black is going to use the transition override one, the fade. So now I'll have my opening, Luma wipe over to main, green share to do some teaching, our be right back screen or our goodbye screen and then a fade to black. And if you want that fade to black to take a little longer, right click on the fade to black scene again, hover over transition override and over here, we can change the duration say to 1200 milliseconds. We'll click back off and we'll test it again from be right back to fade to black. And now we have a nice long fade to black. But even more important than video is audio quality. People will forgive bad video, they won't forgive bad audio. So that is the next most important thing. And the first step to getting good audio is coming back next week for the next video. I'll see you then.